hurricanes, floods, droughts, wildfires. We also have mass violence and sociopolitical and racial unrest. And these are all major contributors to uh, the well-being of children and families. Like when you think about, let's say, a hurricane and all of the disaster that can come from it, a child who is like five or six might not necessarily understand you know, that, okay, this is just a natural occurrence. It just depends upon the age and the developmental level as to how folks understand disasters. Sometimes children will play in a way that reenacts different kinds of violence. It's important for parents to understand that this is how they express themselves and this is how they process. As psychiatrists, we are the experts in the mental health uh, spectrum. So we can give great information as it relates to education. We can also allay some fears that some of our youth and some of the adults have. So I think that we as psychiatrists are made for, for now. In the first few days or weeks of an event, it's very normal to feel very distressed. So we have a role in helping them understand what are the best things for them right now getting fresh air, exercise and movement if they can, and really staying connected because we've seen over time that social connectedness is really essential in helping communities recover. Know your resources that are available. For instance, there's a Center for Traumatic Stress um, that gives a lot of education upon how to deal with these disasters. We can give that information to families who can then give it to kids. One of our roles as psychiatrists is really to advocate for the right kinds of attention, funding, and engagement in prevention uh, activities and prevention and planning.